Hello, today I want to talk about getting started with live streaming with Restream to multiple platforms simultaneously and go over to Restream. So R E S T R E A M. And we can go ahead and create an account if we haven't already. Next, we want to add the destinations, the places that we want to live stream to. So for me, I'm going to live stream to Facebook and YouTube together. So I'm going to click Facebook. I'm going to connect Facebook. I don't have I don't have my Facebook logged in, so let's fix that. We can then click OK. Click Save. And no thanks, I know my thing. Okay, so now we have Facebook added. Let's also add a YouTube channel to it. So as you can see, Restream does support many other platforms, not just Facebook and YouTube. So we'll connect YouTube. Again, I don't have my YouTube channel uh, signed in, so let's, uh, I'm going to sign in now. Allow. I can click Save. And now I have YouTube added to the places of my destinations. Now you can actually enter the live studio right now. We can now technically go live with the built-in features into Restream. However, for today, we're going to add extra complexity into the uh, portion by using another piece of software called OBS. Because personally, the less I spend in a web application, the better. One benefit of using OBS compared to the built-in studio in Restream is that you have more greater control over what is shown in your live stream. You can add uh, many more elements and you also have greater controls over the position and size of elements. So we're going to Google up OBS and we're going to go and click download and we're going to go download installer and it's on the desktop so we're going to install OBS which stands for Open Broadcast Studio And we can launch it, uh, and we can definitely launch it too. So we can just click cancel. So to go live without any scheduling, I can just click on RTMP settings and copy the stream key. And I can also go ahead and create an event, schedule live event live stream and put some title test test and create event and then I can click on RTMP settings and get the stream key from here instead. We're going to go ahead and Google Restream OBS. And we're going to go to this how to connect OBS Studio to Restream Restream help document. And we are going to follow this document to set up our OBS. So scrolling down here, we want to follow these instructions. So that will be settings stream change this to restream.io use stream key paste the stream key into here then go to output go to advance then then we want to untick and for streaming service encoding settings we want to untick rescale output we want to set the rate control to CBR. We want to set the bit rate to 3800. We want to change the keyframe interval uh, to 2. And lastly, we want to change the profile into main. Then we can go into the video, 
and it does recommend us to change the video down to 1280 by 720 but for me I'm going to actually bump it up to 1920 by 1080 I can then hit apply and OK now the contents of the live stream really can be up to you however for me I'm going to do a simple screen sharing so I'm going to hit this plus icon and go to display capture OK and click OK I'm also now going to go to settings audio and going to make sure that my desktop audio is set to default if I'm using earphones I would set it to the earphones instead so that I have audio for my live stream too you can pay attention to this bar over here as, as I go ahead and play some sound effects you can see that there are sound being played so now we have OBS configured for restream I can now hit the start streaming button give it some time and restream will automatically refresh if it doesn't you can manually refresh it and I should mention that if you see a large quantity of drop frames your internet is no good and you should probably uh, not even live stream unfortunately it should then say online and also give you a link which you can click on to see your live stream happening but unfortunately because of my terrible internet connection I have access to the restream is not working but I can reassure you that with good internet connection and a lower quantity of drop frames ideally you want this to be zero you can successfully live stream very easily with restream and OBS to multiple platforms so that is it for this video tutorial on how to get started with live streaming with restreaming and OBS I should probably mention that this is just the tip of the iceberg as both OBS and Restream has many many more functionalities which I've not talked about in this video. 